and the weather wasn't looking good to my dad. And he was hearing the report, so he decided to stop early. Scott being an influencer and, and his life language shows very, very, very clearly in the way he presents and, and I love that there's a, a lovely healthy humour and, and banter about it as well so people can relate. This is not just a couple that come in from a, a priestly sort of a, a, an attitude but they're, they're one of us, uh, they've travelled the journey and they're authentic in, in yeah. their message yeah. and I love that. And I think, and all the little video clips, the songs, all of that that work together, and it just it just breaks it up, and it, it just adds that much more fun, but also that you are going to remember what you've learnt for the day. So yeah, good. So it was really, really good. I loved it. Awesome. Yeah, we'd recommend it very, very highly to anyone that wants to run it, whether you're a, yeah. a church group, whether you're a business, anything in leadership, um, charitable organisations, anything like that would really benefit. Yeah. They'll notice things, they'll notice if the floors are clean, they'll notice if there are dishes in the, in the sink that need to be done. And it's so practical that they just want to get on with it. They just want to get into action and do this. This language does not like to be idle at all. So for me, pretty much the same with everyone. It really helped clarify sort of the way that I'm wired, understanding who I am, the way that I operate, and the way sometimes so I'm a high contemplator, and you know, my my, mo my mover is my lowest, but mum's a high mover, <laughs> so <laughs> that kind of explained a lot of sometimes what I'm buying. Um, but it, it really clarified like what she needs, and I'm hoping she realizes what I need. <laughs> But being able to, it helps, what you really learn is how to bridge the gap between the different languages and yeah. how to communicate in a way that you both feel respected and loved and cared for yeah, and true. valued. Yeah. So that's something that I really took out of it and really appreciated. About the bigger picture of the globe or the thinking about what's happening in the big picture. Where are we going? How are we going to get there? You hear this with pastors or with leaders often. The big picture of what we're looking to do is this grand thing. And sometimes what happens, right, is when we're casting a vision, other languages aren't caught up to where that vision is and they can't see it. Because I feel like I'm getting to know you even more <laughs> when you're up here. Okay, so what did you get out of yesterday? What was the main top thing that you really enjoyed about the life languages? I think it's the interaction with everybody and recognizing the differences but the the emphasis particularly Scott kept on going on saying don't put it in boxes yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. and that emphasis to me was fantastic because you, you, it, it, it's very you go to something like this and you tend to categorize people as being oh that person's like that or that's like that and it's not really like that we're all different and you can have particular characteristic and what we're trying to do is to recognise those differences in order to better react with them. Not to put someone into a category and say, well they're like that and therefore well, I might not like that or I might not like it. It's you can it's a matter of being able to communicate and have a better relationship with, you know, with everybody. I loved how uh, they just complemented each other. They just flowed, you know, one after the other. There was um, just a real unity in that. And I, uh, I think the, the best thing for me was the sim how simplified uh, and ex how it was explained was very easy to understand and uh, very entertaining at times. <laughs> um, but yeah, and, and, and uh, how, how Scott and Nicole worked together um, and bounced off each other was fantastic. My husband's an amazing man, by the way. <laughs> he didn't pay me to say that either. <laughs> but where we... Um, have distress flares is when Rex is a visionary and I was amazed to find that I had quite a bit of shape too but um, he sees the big picture and I see the detail and our dialogue seems to be honey could you just get with the big scene first before you get down into the detail and that's where we had you know not distress flares so much but lively conversations so we learned so much <laughs> <laughs> we learned so much yesterday um, about, well, everyone really, but, you know, it was just, for us, that was, that was a big one, so, um, yeah, at least we know we can, we've got tools now, we can, 
you know, dialogue well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The producer can do, they can get into micromanaging and they can want to manage what someone else should be managing. Well, we're very appreciative of um, Scott and Nicole coming down to all the way from, from Sydney to run up in our church and, um, and we love the program and uh, so valuable, we highly recommend it, them yeah. and it.